Hey guys, so I think, I'm pretty sure, I just seen a bunch of mosquito fish inside of this little pond of water. I'm gonna tie on this size, I think this is a size 20 uh, nymph. I don't know exactly what kind of nymph this is. There it is. That's gonna be the winner. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be able to bite this fly either. You know, just, just part of it, it's part of the whole experience. Unless it's not. Who knows? The world may never know. gonna be a regular cat fish rig guys uh, and I think I will add a swimmer might as well I'm just putting the, the bullet weight on top of the swivel doing a regular I think this is called a surgeon's knot Double surgeon knot. This is the knot I use for everything. You don't really have to clip these, especially if you're catfishing, it doesn't really matter. But if you're trout fishing and you're using um, any kind of line or anything like that, you want to clip it as close as you can without it, uh, without it coming off so that uh, the fish because the trout are very sensitive to the line. So if they see a... Uh, we'll just call it a Sherlock. This little piece coming off of the line. They'll... Uh, they'll know you're not right. They'll know you're not right in the head. They won't let you catch them. They'll say bye-bye. This has gotten so much shallower than the last couple of years. There was a year when I came here and I caught probably one of the biggest catfishes I've ever caught, but I never brought him up because he popped off last second. What a guy, huh? What a guy. What a dude. It's okay. We're just gonna put on a little bit of cheddar hot dog here. There's a couple of ways you could string them up. If you really want, you can put this hook on before you put the hot dog or put the hook on your line. But for me, I noticed that if you go like this and put it through the tip of the hot dog, whatever side of the tip is, and then you turn it around, you can thread it up a little bit and then push it back down onto that hook. And right there, that's a secure that's gonna be as secure as you're gonna get it right there. And then we're ready to fish, guys. And I think on my smaller rod, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a worm because I know that there's also catfish, or not catfish, there's a mosquito fish in here also, and there's this catfish called water shed catfish that I've only caught once but it was at this spot so we're gonna see if we can't catch another one here but see the difference is too that i caught that one last time on a grasshopper so hopefully they'll eat worm look at that we're already getting bit 
That could be a turtle, though. Could very well be a tortuga. Let me know what you guys like to see more of, if it's the multi-species, maybe more of the stream fishing, because out here in New Mexico, the Rio Grande is like one of the only places that you can really catch fish that's near Albuquerque. And then after that, the closest places are about an hour and a half away. So let me know if you guys want to see more river fishing that's like in clear water rivers or if you guys want to see the more real grand fishing and see if there's any kind of different species in here in this muddy water. A lot of people be don't believe that you could actually even fish in this water. So that's pretty interesting. Dang guys, we caught a jumping catfish. We caught a jumping catfish, guys. See, look at that. There's fish in here even when it's dirty like that. It's a fat boy too. Here, one, two, a three. Woo. Dang, look at that guy right there. He's talking to me. He's talking to me, look at him. Look at him talking to me. Oh man, oh man. Keep an eye on my other rod, guys. What if we catch another one? Oh man, oh man. Look at that hook. Right in the lip, right in the lip. Right where you want her to be. Whoa, look at that freaking gaff. Look at that, see that? Oh my God, it's like a razor blade. It was cutting me. They'll last for a long time outside of the water. Let's see if I can put them down. There we go. He's a pretty fish. And that is a, what is this? this is a channel catfish or a flathead, I'm sorry. Look at that flat dome. He's a flathead catfish. Look at that pretty fin on him. That's a pretty fin. I like that. Look at those little guys too. So he can crawl across the water. This is a damaged fin though. I wonder what happened to him. He's so pretty, so majestic. So this is the next species in our challenge, guys. Flathead, he's very pretty specimen. They do get a lot bigger than this though. So we'll see if we catch another one or if we can catch a smaller species of catfish or any other fish. And that's the best way to release them right there. You don't want to really touch those guys. They'll mess you up with those gaffs. Or I guess they're called spines. Sorry, I keep calling them gaffs. <laughs> a nice take, a nice take indeed there. Like that. All right, thank you guys for watching my rod. 
we're just gonna throw it back out there see if we can't get it closer to those trees though pretty stout right there let's see what's on there probably nothing oh look at this it was just floating in the water i wonder if we could just drop it right here honestly Just needed to get closer to there. Hot one guys. Nice. Look at that little bass. So cool. So there's another species to our challenge. This is a largemouth bass. Oh actually. That looks like <clears throat> yep. That is a largemouth bass right there. Pretty pretty guy. Nice. Thanks for eating that worm, buddy. He ran back in there. I don't know. This is a pretty clear pond, so I don't think we're going to catch more than one. Damn, bro. Look at that sunfish. Ooh, boy. We were not trying to catch you. That's a nice one, though. Look at his colors are purple. Can you see that? Oh, shoot. Sorry, man. These guys are okay. He is very pretty, though. He's been in here for a while. Look at that. Wow. Now, I can't tell if this is a bluegill or, no, I think this is a bluegill. This is a big bluegill. Now he might've scared the rest of the bass away. Oh, that was a good cast. Freak. There was a fish on there, guys. Hey, guys. So that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. We did end up catching three more species. That's putting us on the road to catching every species in New Mexico. <clears throat> There's going to be a video of me uh, starting my property. I'm going to start making the fence and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoy the content let me know what else you guys would want to see um don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you all again for the support i really appreciate it there's going to be a lot more interesting videos coming out so stay tuned see you on the next episode